champions that he can play. It will be the Jace at the very end. And I do think that this Jace is uh, probably going to be going towards the... Uh... Yeah, it's quite interesting. My impression of this champion watching and even talking to some of the LPL pros is it, it just kind of seems like a much lower damage. Ooh, ooh. But we're going to see the Ignite actually be popped by Chris and the level one kill found by LWX. It looked like Chris was unmounted, but suddenly getting the mount up. there, Double Scuttle already going over to FBX. They have full control over this river, and this is going to be the third potential gank that Irma has seen in four minutes of game time. He's going to find the comeback kill, however. Really surprisingly, didn't look like Bo and Doiby were synced up. Both, both sitting very, very far behind the Minion Wave. And what do you I, think is the main goal of maybe this E-Star composition? But, uh, you know, it does seem like we have a potential skirmish in hand. Crisp is looking to go in. He is going to just flash in and come in with the crash down. Hacker is still alive. He actually goes forward with that one. Loses his life, but E-Stars does find a comeback kill onto the support. Doinby is chasing Irma as Irma goes across the wall just to find his double kill. Very well done by him. Able to dodge out, but is he able to get away is going to be the big question. He actually does find himself in the back line and is able to sneak off with the double kill in hand. What a 200 IQ play coming in into from Irma. the enemy jungle. E-Stars are a little bit slow on this one, but Shaozi does spot out Crisp. There is a three-man on FBX on the enemy um, on the enemy Raptors, but Crisp is going to get ulted down. He's going to be the first one in. He does get multiple stuns down. The first one to fall will be Crisp, but they do find one back. Doinby is in very far behind enemy lines, but LWX flies in with the killer instinct just to even up the odds, and FBX actually walk away with the kill lead right here. They're going to find two. LWX still looking for more, and a perfect snipe incoming from Bo. I correct myself, it was Hacker that was actually sniped down. He is now going into the top side. We do see a flash in from ZS and they want to take down Nuggery but Nuggery is flashing out of the situation he's finally going to get tagged down by the sleep and despite all of his attempts of early skirmishes should go over to their side just because of the strength of their champions and it the question really is can you know E-Stars actually find themselves back into this situation with their more traditional front to back composition they're going to be the ones setting up a little bit late on this Drake but they do have the poke potential here as Doinby body blocks and Bo is able to find the last hit. Almost completely uncontested. Uh, FPX is doing a, a good job at playing the whole map. Nuggery doing a great job at using his pressure. FPX get control of mid. Now they're looking for the stive on bot lane. Oh, it's going to be a 4v2. And it doesn't seem like there's much that E-Stars can do. The teleport is going to be coming in from the Volley Bear. But even with that, he's not going to be able to equal up the numbers. Lilia and Zoe are still coming out of base. Uh, and FBX pretty much just find a free kill while Nuggery in the mid lane gets down the tower. This is just, I, I can't believe how one-sided these map trades have been. But can Nuggery escape? That's going to be the question. Oh my god, the Everfrost actually found that tanky. You do have the likes of the Renekton and the Rel in the front line. Again, we don't all too often see the Moonstone here. I think it could have worked in this composition, but you would have obviously been putting all of your eggs into the rat basket. And let's be completely honest, Clement, I don't think that's E-Star's win condition. I think for Hacker and Irma, you need to be the one stepping up and putting this game on your back. Yeah, Irma definitely had a great start to this one, but now it's Doinby's turn to shine as he chases away Rat from the top lane. They're not going to be able to find... place down, so when E-Star come back out onto the map, they are going to know. I expect some recalls to come out after this. We're going to start transitioning our vision controls, which is going to allow them to walk uh -oh. into the river. Shousey runs into some trouble around the corner, uh, straight towards the Baron. It might seem like Nuggery might even stop the teleport here. Oh, he's just a while off. So E-Stars does find a 5v4 onto the top lane. This could be their chance to come back into the game. Lilia does find the hacker kill. But the Baron is still secured by FBX. A very close situation going down. And Doinby comes up. Not able to survive this. And East ZS coming with a really massive ultimate allowed Eastar to pick up a lot of those kills. But you <laughs> oh, oh god, god LWX. That damage. Before. Really nice play coming out from Rat, especially with the blade oh, caller. We're going to have to jump straight into the action right here as LWX finds another kill in the enemy jungle. 
E stars are in full retreat with Chris a little bit low. Irma actually gets stunned here. Nuggery does find the shock blast, but not enough damage. LWX on the side. The assassin 80 carry with another flashing emote. He's able to finish off the carries right here. 5v5 mid. Chelsea doesn't have any way of safely going into his jungle and getting down wards. And FPX are just doing a really good job at punishing that. This seems like it's going to be a miracle if E stars can survive to the 30 minute mark. FPX are looking at a dragon soul point as they take down um, this. Uh, this oh, was sitting at like 27.5% of his team's damage. Oh, and uh, sorry to cut you off, but there's going to be another fight. Rat once again caught off. Irma is running for his life, and the base is wide open at this point. Nuggery still entertaining the chase. Irma down to 300 HP. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to get off Clement. from this one. How dare you call this a fight? This is just a massacre at this point, man. There, there's nothing E-Star can do. Again, you're hoping that FPX just kind of run into you one by one or you all in one side, but... Oh, Ooh, are they going to dive that's a very aggressive flash coming in from Chris. Hacker is going to get a little bit of damage and a potential three-man sleep. He is going to force a cleanse out of LWX, but LWX still has plenty of ammunition to go right back into the team fight. We are going to see Bo coming in as well, so this is going to be a 4v3 in the mid lane. LWX goes into the back with Killer Instinct. He finds a kill onto Hacker, and LWX wants to close this game out right now. He's going in with the double kill. Rat has a nice flash away from Doinby. Can he survive is the question right here. He barely gets out with a third of his HP, but the damage is done. FBX are going to break open the base. They find the inhibitor in the mid lane, and this is going to be a 2v4. To say he has been the highlight on this young E-Stars team for me. It's such a great outplay early on. Doinby is going to find himself in a 1v5 while the rest of his team members take down the Baron, but he's going to make a very good fight here. Actually survives until... Yeah, and I want to see if FPX either end this one 5v4 or, you know, you just wait out to 35 seconds and then Doing Beast TP is up. You could even just go take Dragon in that time and then start your push once again and bring the TP in. But, ooh, ZS is actually TP oh, on the map. actually flashing forward here. We have to pay attention to the mid lane. Chris is the one that's stunned up. He has to flash out as well. And Nuggery isn't even going to join this one. Nuggery's actually just staying at the enemy base. He believes in LWX. LWX goes in with the Gale Force, finds the kill, flashes out. Bo is going in as well. And this is another situation where E-Stars have the numbers advantage. Nuggery actually just waits in their own base to find the cutoff right here. What a 200 IQ play. Five head poggers, they're gonna find the kill onto Volley Bear and most likely just finish the game right here, right now. That was... <laughs> I just love that play from Nuggery, knowing that he doesn't have to rotate, waiting for the enemy team to come into his waiting hands. It, it was just nice to see, Clement, right? We, we did it all. Oh, uh, but it will go back to the Orianna as the final pick for E Star. So walk me through this combina uh, these compositions, uh, Lurk. What do you see? You, you can't feel all the raw healing you're getting out of that kind of build. Ooh. Uh, Chris goes in for the combo. Shalsi does have to flash out, but can't get out of the seismic shove. This looks like it's going to be first blood over to FPX. A very Chelsea. long way. now heading into the top side. This is going to be a 3v1. Nuggery with the spidey senses does drop the ward down, but e -Stars are still going to go in. Nuggery actually dodges out on the ultimate, but still going to fall down. Nothing much he can do or outplay here in this situation. FPX do have the cavalry running in. Doinby already with the flash pop. He's going to try and find some comeback kills. Bo is stunned up, but he still finds the kill here. Hacker still doing a lot of damage. It looks like he might be able to take the Talia down. And with Irma arriving on the scene. We saw Shaozi, after he died, out of base, realize, hey... Ooh, I'm gonna Ooh, pause. But Rat actually goes a little bit too close to the crocodile as Nuggery does teleport onto the scene. I'm not sure who got the Herald just yet. Doinby is still in the thick of things and the fight is not over just yet. Bo used his combo, didn't find the target, but he might be able to get Irma. Irma has to flash out of the... Just slowly um, bleed out. They're trying to find a point to pivot to as Doinby's going in. Oh, and it will be Bo that actually steals away the dragon. So a huge win right here. Irma still staying on the sidelines. He's going to be able to take down Bo. Rat finds his first kill. But LWX is very fed at this point. He's going to come Flash in. And forward. When is the time to make these aggressive plays? Uh, looks like Irma is going to have a little bit of trouble right here as Bo, Bo does come <laughs> oh, flying no. in. He always had advantages in lane for that one. Uh, Nuggery is 
most likely going to be able to get away from this one. Uh, we do see the ultimate ZS coming down. Nugri actually flashing straight back in. A little bit of a head scratcher of a flash there. He can warn uh, his death. Probably not going to get anything here. Uh, yeah, just going to chase him off for a little bit of priority here. Does find the stun onto Hacker, surprisingly. He uses the Stride Breaker. Is going to put a little bit of damage as Bo is heading towards the top lane. But can he actually get here fast enough? I don't think so. So Doiby actually has to burn a flash for that one. Irma finds the perfect interception. And Bo might just go down. He does fall down. And Doiby overplays his hand. It's going to be a three for nothing trade. Well, on the do end up uh, stun locking him anyway. Okay, we're going to be waiting on a replay for oh. that one. But in the meantime, Bo nearly finds the solo kill onto Rat. However, he likely will pay with his life as the Infernal Trigger does go down. Xiaosi finds the kill onto that one. Bo had full vision of both the support and the AD carry, but he wanted to, you know, he wanted to hedge his bets right there. And all of a sudden, FPX actually give up four unanswered kills. And, you know, right there, Bo thought his full combo would be enough to just... A straight up 100 to 0 the likes of rat wasn't able to got punished for trying to make that that gamble play but fpx well the whole time the the top half of the map are just kind of creating shenanigans lwx and chris are doing you know the lord's work just kind of snowballing the gold the objectives and making sure that fpx can still win this game uh, this is definitely a uh, fun times. We don't usually see Doinby and Nuggery get on the cloud. We'll play with the Renekton though and try and get him more more kills. And then set Ooh, up for this. Bo is Ooh. targeted out here and goes down to Rat once again. Set up the Talia combo, but Bo is just looking to set it up himself from Fog of War. He's still a very new player as Doinby goes oh, in. Doinby does find the stun onto Hacker, but Hacker with the Zanyas is able to uh, delay himself going down. And now Doinby still going at it again. Falls down 1v3 underneath the enemy tower. LWX still doing a lot of damage onto the backside. He's going to be the one that cleans things oh. up. And, you know, there there were a lot of questions. That S over to the play. And it looks like a potential uh, Baron contest between these two junglers. Hacker doesn't find his way in at all. Does not have the flash. And that's a beautiful three-man knockup coming in from Bo. He's going to be cleaning up this team fight. The Orn is a little bit too late to the action. He has to run away from the situation. And it's about how many players can E-Star still keep on the map after this. Yeah, and FPX and a profit so much, you're just gonna be able to push through mid. Might even be able to guarantee an inhibitor from this play. Dragon coming up in 15 seconds as well should definitely be FPX's. Yeah, really interesting play coming out from FPX. They definitely knew that Hacker could get across the wall and didn't have his flash, so they were willing to chance a relatively early Baron here. Uh, 20 minutes was uh, the time when the Baron actually went down, so right about as it spawned and lwx is playing 1v3 here without any fear hey He's he has flash he has cleanse oh it does look like there were actually a lot of members waiting on the sidelines right here as he they go in they found multiple kills and it looks like fpx are about to clean up this game that was all a bait using lwx to the maximum efficiency fpx definitely very very well versed in how to play around their ad carry they're chasing down the final member on e star they're gonna make it an ace and this is 21 minutes of game time one of the fastest games that we've seen so far in the lpl there's no one left to defend e stars fbx are gonna find a clean sweep onto this series i'm not sure if lyric is back but we're gonna look at the final kill shalsi trying to defend trying to buy some time for irma as he comes back onto the map but i don't think this is gonna be enough Dornby finds another double stun he's gonna be tower diving fountain diving excuse me right into the laser beams he doesn't care he's feeling happy about this one and we see the thumbs up come out from irma recognizing defeat